guests when we're shopping. And it's centered. I should be centered. I should be good. Hey y'all, welcome back. So I did a little bit of shopping. So I didn't really get to record everything while I was in the store. So I'm here at the house and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So the first place I went to was Marshall's and I got this exfoliating foot mask. I never used a foot mask before, so this is gonna be your first. It's lavender and mint. I like the packaging. It's really cute, it's very colorful, and this was only $5.99, which wasn't too bad. I also got a two-piece stainless steel tongue scraper, like silicone. I never used the metal one, so I'm gonna give this one a try. This was $6.99, really good to have to freshen your breath, but you know, just to make sure that your mouth can be nice and clean, so I can't wait to try this. Also bought a cracked heel stick. I actually got my mom one of these for Christmas, and she said it worked, so I went back and I got me one. And this is tea tree eucalyptus scent, and it was only $5.99. And you know, during the winter times, you get cracked feet, a lot of things when your body is dry, so this is definitely gonna be a big help. I got some Coco Magic foot cream. I never really used this product before. It is a heel and foot cream with nourishing coconut oil, honey, and botanical extracts. It helps to deeply moisturize and nourish dry, damaged heels and feet infused with coconut oil and honey to help soften and soothe tired feet. And this was $4.99. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love anything with coconut oil. I can't wait to try this along with the Hill Balm that I showed you guys previously. I always get the cucumber or the original scent for the Thayer's Witch Hazel. So I decided to give the lavender a try and it smells really good. It doesn't really have a strong smell to it. It's very light. Walmart Target, the Thayer's Witch Hazel and other products by Thayer's are very expensive. So I go to my local TJ Maxx or Marshalls to get these type of products. I also got the Snow Fairy body wash by Philosophy. Yes, by Philosophy and I only paid $10. Now the regular price for these products are probably like $15 and plus. I've seen a bottle like this that was like $25 in store. So I actually got a good deal and this was only $10 at Marshalls. So I got this Snow Angel body wash. This is like a mini size one and i thought it was cute this baby was only two dollars as you can see it was only two dollars which is a really good deal because for something like this in store you will be paying maybe like this little thingy on it kind of like an ornament which is cute you know like you can hang it up in a tree as like a gift or something for somebody but again i got this from marshall's just to get the little winter thing going on i got these and i would like to pair these up together i kind of feel like these are the same thing but this one has more of like a pearl color to it and this one is like gray so check your local marshals to see if they have the philosophy body wash you will not be disappointed believe it or not my father actually put me on to philosophy and um i feel like i bought their products a long time ago this was years ago when i bought it i feel like i did i don't really remember i remember being at a garage sale and i bought like mad body wash like my father he actually bought one from um tj maxx and i ended up using his whole bottle so kind of like skeptical on like why why is he using women body wash but i'm not really sure if men and women can use this but i just know that it leaves your skin super super soft and it's a very expensive body wash and he had he had like some brown sugar philosophy body wash and i tried it out and i was like oh this is actually really good and it suds up so nice a lot of bubbles you talking about a nice clean lather get you some philosophy body wash and you will not be disappointed i also had to run to the beauty supply store and i got some eco style gel this is the black castor flaxseed oil one this is the one I always get. I used to get the olive oil one, but I stopped getting that one. And the 
black castor oil is one of my favorites so that's my go-to i also got some dr bonner's soap you can't go wrong with this soap this soap is wonderful every time i go out and i have to re-up on skincare or whatever i always make sure to pick up a bottle of this and you can also find this at your local tj maxx or marshall's they will have it for a reduced price and they also have the really really big bottles as well and the bar soap and you can they have a lot of other little cosmetics that you can use as far as hand sanitizers um lip balm and i think that's about it i think toners too i'm not really sure don't quote me on that but those are the only two things that i got from the beauty supply store which was these two items here the last place i went to was dollar tree so i picked up a exfoliating glove for like a dollar 25 which isn't bad i also picked up the sensitive bar soap by dove and i really like these products because it makes you smell really really good without you know a too overpowering scent if that makes sense because me i like to I like to mix my body washes and my perfumes together so like one day if I'm feeling in the mood to smell tropical I'm gonna go in with this add maybe like a sugar scrub that may be like coconut and lime and then go in with a lotion that's coconut and lime along with a perfume that's a clean scent with like coconut and lime or maybe mangoes or something to get that tropical scent all over and then one day I might want to smell like vanilla I'll go in with this a vanilla scrub vanilla soap and so on and so on y'all get it this right here i usually use this on my face sometimes if i run out of the dr bonners or like i just use this in like the intimate areas like you know downstairs under arms on so you never really want to use like a really strong soap for downstairs and for back there because of you know yeast infections you don't want to worry about that so this is my go-to for the intimate areas and just to wash overall the white dove soap is also really good but the sensitive is my go-to i use the white dove but i mostly go towards this one right here and you guys will not be disappointed if you've tried this this is a regular degler soap you can find this at a Dollar Tree, which is where I got it. You can find it at Walmart. I like to get my soaps from Dollar Tree because it's only $1.25 per per bar soap. But I think this isn't like this isn't like a full bar soap. I think this is like a travel size, but it holds me pretty well. So I stack up on these at my local Dollar Tree. You know, I did a little shopping, nothing too crazy because I do plan to do like a little self-care video these are the three new products that i will be trying out for you guys in my next video so I'll hopefully you guys stay tuned you know just some things to just keep my skin moisturized because during the winter months your girl can get very dry as far as my hair my skin my feet my face everything is dry during the winter months so your girl had to go and get some things from the store so that I can prepare for my self care team. I didn't really have to get too much stuff, so I'm kind of thankful for that. And everything else was really like, you know, things that I get on the regular when I usually do my shopping. This is like my go to's right here. So, you know, I'll make a list in my notes, as in like what I have to get. I'll show you guys. Hold on, give me one second. I might have to airdrop it to my laptop and my phone i have to insert it on to the clip because y'all can't really see anything and it looks so small um but i will put it on the screen for y'all to see so y'all can get an idea of what i'm talking about like say if i ran out of the witch hazel i would remove the check mark because i have to re-up on some more and i will go back into here and see if i need to get anything else the sun is starting to come out but like why now all this time i'm trying to record for my video and now the sun will come back out that's crazy organic coconut oil it kind of melted because i had the heat on that's why it looks like that so oil my coconut oil i use for my face my body i use it to do oil pulling i also use it to take off mascara or like any type of makeup i use it in my hair so 
coconut oil, organic coconut oil, organic virgin coconut oil, I should say. It has a lot of benefits and it really helps out with my skincare routine and I like to incorporate it with everything. So, and another thing, if you didn't know, you this message is for people 18 plus. Oh, you can also use coconut oil as lube. Um, yeah, don't ask me how I know. I do a lot of research, so that's how I know. Now your girl is celibate. She's not doing the nasty or anything like that, so don't get it twisted. I also got this from Marshoes. Um, this is a certified non-toxic whitening mouthwash i don't really use mouthwash like that if anything i will use coconut oil i don't really like using any mouthwash with alcohol inside of it because it's just i'd be trying to go like the natural route if that makes sense but you know most mouthwashes are toxic and not good for your enamel so on so on but I decided to pick this one up at Marshalls. I never tried it before, but it has good reviews. Um, I don't know if you guys know of the Yuka app, but I scanned this and it was a good product, so I bought it. You know, the only mouthwash that I usually use is this mouthwash right here. This is the travel size Thera Breath mouthwash. It's really good. It doesn't really have a taste to it. They have different kinds, but this is the one that I like because it gives me that minty taste. So I'm going to give this one a try and see if I actually like it. I'm kind of excited because it has a coconut on the front of it. And if you don't know, coconut oil helps to naturally whiten your teeth. And it's known for oil pulling as well. And I only paid $5.99 for this, which isn't too bad. And... You know, it has really good ingredients in it. It has organic aloe, aloe vera leaf, purified water, dead sea salt. Um, it has wintergreen leaf oil, oil citrus, lemon, pill oil, sage oil, leaf oil, flower oil, basil. It has a lot of good oils inside of here. I don't see any alcohol in it, which is a plus. No peroxide, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, dyes, no alcohol, people with coffee and tea stains, wine stains, sensitive teeth, gum, recession, this is really good for you. So if I was you, I would go to your local Marshall to see if they have this product because I don't think you would be disappointed and I will be using this product to let you guys know how it goes and if I do like it, of course I'm going to recommend it to you guys. But I'm going to be the test dummy for y'all and I'm going to try it to see if I really like it and I'm going to let y'all know. So the next thing I got was Candy Cane Philosophy Body Wash. Again, I don't know, I've just been obsessed with like these products. Like they just make your skin feel so moisturized. I also had to pick up some razors. I like this one because it has five blades and when you have five blades on your razor, it gets the job done. And mint razors are also good if you are on a budget. I got this one from my local beauty supply store. My beauty supply store has everything. And if you live in the A, you already know the beauty supply stores have everything. I also got the candy cane body butter along with the sugar scrub and candy cane shave oil by tree hut i was fiending for these products because i went to ulta and ulta didn't have the sugar scrub ulta only had the shave oil and the body butter so i got the body butter from ulta i got the scrub and the shave oil from amazon I was fiending just to have these products together so I went out my way to go and make sure I found these products so that I can have them and it smells so good like literally smells like peppermints and I love that. I do have to go on a mini shopping spree for like hair products because your girl is running low. Hair products are not cheap and you know, I still got to put some money to the side for that. But I mean, I have money in my little money saving envelopes that I showed you guys in the last video. But I need a little bit more and it hasn't reached that goal yet. So I have to wait until I reach my goal so that I can go and buy my hair products and give you guys another haul. If you would like to see how I keep my face, my skin, and my hair moisturized throughout the winter months, 
don't forget to tune in to my next video that will be uploading soon and last but not least don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next self-care related video later Bye.